Hey everybody, welcome back to the Mac Whisperer Academy. I'm Dylan Stewart, the Mac Whisperer. And in today's session, I'm gonna help you master Apple's Reminders app so that you never forget anything and never drop anything out ever again. You know, somewhere along the line, life got really complicated. We've got all these tasks and projects, all these reminders, all these things to keep track of, all of these lists that we're trying to hold on to in our head, and how do you keep track of all of it without losing your mind? Well, for me, I've always used technology to carry the heavy load, to bridge the gap and make it easier for me to stay focused, stay present, and get more done in less time with less effort than most people do in a whole week. When you set up a reminder, you can set up any form of notification. It can be date or time based. It can be location based. You can even be reminded when you're in the middle of a text message conversation with somebody. I like to use reminders for those basic things like calling people, talking to people, finishing projects. But on top of that, I love to use reminders for lists. It's a great place for lists, whether it's your grocery list or your travel list or the list of those books you want to get to or those Netflix shows you want to watch. So with that being said, let's jump over to the computer. On my computer, you're going to notice that the Reminders app is right front and center on the dock right here. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. The first thing I want to talk about, about the interface of Reminders, it's a really simple interface. It's essentially got three separate parts. The first part is in the upper left-hand corner. First, you've got the today list in your upper left-hand corner. So you can see these things here. Some of them are from a couple of days ago. Some of them are due this week. Then you've got the scheduled list. Anything that you've ever put a date or time onto as a reminder will show up in the scheduled list. So it's not just the most recent things, but it's things going into the future. In the bottom left side of the quadrant is the all section. This is where all of your reminders are stored. It's really helpful because sometimes we put reminders into different folders and different lists and we can't really see them all at once. By coming into the all section, you see every reminder together in one place and it makes it really easy. In the bottom right corner you have what's called the flag section and the flag section is for grabbing hold of reminders that are extremely important for you, things you want to make sure you get done. Now as we look down the rest of the left sidebar what we see is the lists and groups that we use to separate and organize our separate reminders. I've got three major lists that I use. Right off at the top, you'll see my this week list. Then I've got the this month list. And the someday list, this is the low priority things that I may not get to for a while, but I want to keep track of. It's very easy to create a new reminders list by clicking in the bottom left corner where it says add list. Just click there and you can put a new title in. Maybe we're going to call this one YouTube video. Up at the top, you saw some very generic reminders lists, my this week, my this month list, but I've got other lists too. For example, I've got a list of clients that I want to do a follow-up appointment with, or I've got a list of all of my upcoming bills, or I've got a list of all of the Netflix shows and other streaming shows that I've been wanting to watch. So you can collect your lists in any way you want to. You can create as many lists as you want. Let's talk about how exactly to create a reminder. The first thing you're going to do is click on the plus button in the upper right corner like this. As soon as you do that, it gives you a new entry that you can start to type on. So I'm going to go ahead and type on it. When you finish typing up your reminder, just hit the return button and it'll give you a new reminder as well as finalizing the other ones. We've gotten write script, now we've got shoot video, edit video, Release video. We've created a fairly simple list of things that I need to do for the YouTube video. It's very easy to share a reminders list. Simply click on the list on the left sidebar and to the right of the name you're going to see a little icon of a person. Click on that person and it's going to immediately offer to share this list with somebody. In this case, I'm going to share my list with my assistant and I'm going to send her the invitation via messages. So it works like this. I'm going to click on messages. I'm going to click share. And it's going to ask me for the information of the person I want to share it with. In this case, she's in my address book, so I can add it really easily. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my assistant's phone number here and click send on that. 
And you can see right off the bat that it's shared with Aubrey Thornhill, which means that both Aubrey and I can work together on completing this project. Think about all the projects that you've got with your whole team and how easy it would be if everybody could see the same to-do list that you see and could add to it and make changes. Now I'm just going to come over here and I'm going to double click on the reminder to write the script because I want to show you some of the things you can do within it. Now, first of all, you've got a notes section and this notes section can be really helpful for you to add things that you want to do for that project. For example, I can put in a whole list of the things that I'd like to do for this script, some of the topics I want to get into, and I can put them right in the notes section. Now, when that's done, you're going to notice that they show up right underneath the reminder. You can get to the details section of a reminder by double clicking on the reminder or by clicking the eye to the right side like this. When I click on the eye, it brings up the detailed screen, which includes the ability to flag or unflag that reminder, to add notes, or to do reminders. So there's three different ways you can be reminded. The first one is you can be reminded on a day or at a time. So I can say, remind me today at 9 a.m. You can also be reminded of location. Now it's very easy to choose a location like home. And then you say, when I get home, I want to be reminded. Or when I leave home, just by clicking this button here, when I leave home, I want to be reminded. Now, the third kind of reminder here is also really valuable. You can be notified when messaging a person. So you can be reminded on a day, at a time, at a location, or even when you're communicating with somebody. When you do things in a reminders list and you complete them, what's awesome is they disappear right away. So as I click on each of the tasks for edit the video here, notice they go blue. And if I leave it for just a couple of moments, you'll notice that they disappear on their own because they've been completed. So now I can complete edit video and we can wait a moment and you'll see that that completed too. So it removes itself from the list when it's done so there's not all this clutter and stuff for you to take care of. But what happens when you want to see what you've previously completed? No problem. Just scroll up to the top of the list and right there you'll see this bar that says how many were completed and you can click show for all the completed items to come right back in. This can be really helpful in two places. One, so you have a track of what you accomplished and two, because sometimes you've got reminders that are reoccurring reminders. Think about a travel list, for example. Think about all the things you might want to include when you go traveling. Let's go create ourselves a quick travel list here. I'm going to click the Add List button at the bottom left. We're going to call it Travel List. So now I've got this travel list, and we're going to add some things that need to be taken care of on the travel list. We're going to say contact lenses, swimsuit, computer, iPad, itinerary, tickets, now, as we pack our bag up getting ready for this trip, we can come in and we can check off these things. I got my contact lenses. I put my swimsuit in. I have my computer. I have my iPad. I have my itinerary. I have my tickets. So the next time I go to travel, I come up to the top. I click show. I uncheck all of the things that I'm going to need for this trip. And I go back through the list and I check them off again as I pack them. That's what I love about the ability to see the reminders that you've completed easily and simply. So the next thing I'd like to talk to you about is how you can easily add reminders to the Reminders app without having to type them in. So there's a couple of different ways to do this. The first one I'm going to do from the computer. If you open up Safari and go to any particular web page, then you can click on the Share button in the upper right hand corner of Safari and one of the options of ways to share is Reminders. So I can immediately take this web page and add it to my To Watch list. So under the Choose List section, I go into my To Watch list and I select it. I can even add specific reminders to it. So I can click the little I here and I can say, hey, remind me on a day. What's the day? Well, this show comes out on January 22nd, like that. So I'm now going to be alerted on January 22nd and you can see that it even added the website URL to this reminder. So when I add that and down at the bottom of the list, we're going to see that link. And if I click that link, it's going to immediately take me directly to the website where I can find out more information about that show. You can even do it from notes. In this case, I've got a note about chicken soup that's sitting here in my notes program, but I'd like to be reminded about this note tomorrow before I make the chicken soup. All I have to do is click on the share button in the upper right hand corner and it brings me a list and along the list one of the options is to add this to reminders. And right there it's going to ask me 
which list I want to do it on. In this case, let's put it on the this week list. And you'll notice that it even connects it to the note itself. So I can then come in, click the little I here, and say, remind me on a day when I'd like to be reminded tomorrow. What time? I'd like to be reminded tomorrow at 3 p.m., just like that. Now, when I click Add, that goes into my Reminders list. As I go into Reminders and go into the This Week list, we'll see it right at the bottom there. It added the note. It added all the details of the note. And look in the upper right-hand corner. You see that little note icon? If I double-click that, it will open up my Notes program and bring me right to that particular place. For our last lesson, I'm going to go over to the phone. So first thing, before we get into creating reminders, let's take a look at how reminders look on the phone. And right here, we can see its layout is very similar to what it looks like on the computer. Here we've got that quadrant of the four special sections. Here we've got all of our specific lists. And I can go into any list. And there are all the details. And if you look here, even under the chicken soup list, you'll notice that little note at the far right side. And if I click that, it opens up the chicken soup note on my phone, just like that, super easily. I can even go into my to watch list. And right from here, here's that Safari link that we put in. And if I click that, it jumps me right to Safari too. So the Reminders links things up between the phone and the computer really easily. The easiest way to add things to the Reminders app from the phone is by using Siri. And you can use Siri to create a date-based reminder, a time-based reminder, a location-based reminder very easily. Let's give it a try. Remind me to call my mom tomorrow. Okay. Super simple, super easy. Let's now add a time-based reminder. Remind me Friday at 2 p.m. to pick up groceries. Done. Just like that. Now, we've added a date-based and a time-based reminder. Let's add a location-based reminder. Remind me to bring the grocery bags when I leave home. Done. Remind me to call my dad when I arrive at home. Just like that, I've added these reminders super easily, either by saying when I want to do it, date or time based, or location when I want to do it. But what if you want to put a specific reminder into a specific list? So as we see here, I've got a grocery list with a bunch of things on it. Yes, I can go and I can type it in manually, but you know I'm lazy and you know I don't want to do it that way. So instead of typing it in manually, let's use Siri. There's a specific script that you're going to use to add things to a specific list. So in the case of the grocery list, it sounds like this. Add, whatever the item is, to my, whatever the name of the list is, list. Like this. Add bananas to my grocery list. Done. It needs to hear the word list. That's the keyword Siri is looking for to know what you're trying to get it to do. Add English muffins to my grocery list. Done. Or I could add something to my travel list. Add saline solution to my travel list. Okay. But there's one more thing. And this one more thing is hands down the best Siri tip I know and the best reminders tip I know. And it works like this. If you're ever on a screen, and I'm going to just go ahead and pull up a specific message. Now, I want to remember this message, but I've already opened it, so it's not showing up as unread. How am I going to remember to deal with this message? Well, you open the message up on your phone and you say the following thing. Remind me about this in an hour. Done. It doesn't have to be in an hour. It can be whenever you want. It can be when you arrive at home. But the keywords are, remind me about this. We're going to do it on something else. I'm going to go into an email. And I'm going to open this email. I'm going to remind myself about this email. Remind me about this in two hours. Done. Okay. Now, I've added a reminder about a message. And I've added a reminder about an email. Let's now go onto a website. Remind me about this when I get home. Okay. Added. The key phrase here is remind me about this. When you say that, Siri looks at what's on the screen. And if possible, she makes a reminder from what's on the screen. And what's really cool about the way she makes those reminders is she adds a tag to them. So you can see over to the right, I have a message about Slack. I have an email about happy birthday. And I have a website about a Macintosh how-to, all created by my simply saying, remind me about this. And that is my favorite way to add reminders 
to anything in any way, shape, or form. So by using reminders on your phone, on your computer, on your iPad, on your watch, you can begin to create these organized project and task lists. You can begin to keep track of what you're doing. You can share lists with other people so that your whole team can work on something together, or you can assign specific tasks or subtasks to someone you're sharing a list with so that they know that's their part of the project versus your part of the project. But working together with all of these pieces, you can easily get yourself organized and supercharge your productivity. That's our lesson for today. I hope you got some great value out of it. I'm Dylan Stewart, the Mac Whisperer, and I'm here every week bringing you amazing tips, tricks, tutorials, walkthroughs, and ways to make your life easier when using your Apple product. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notify button so you never miss any of our episodes. And if you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up so that other people can find this video easily. I look forward to bringing you more tips and more tricks in the future, and I'll see you next time.